Just got done with my pre-flights. Pretty good load of gas. Like usual, not out quite as early as I would have liked. So how's everybody doing? Just a quick pleasure flight this morning. No real goal. Other than I haven't really flown in maybe three weeks. So I guess what would it be? Relevancy, that's the goal. Recency. This morning we're going to be flying the medium-sized Skyflux in an absolutely beautiful color. You know what? This is, I'm gonna lose this headset. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to use noise-canceling earbuds while I'm flying. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have those headphones on, I guess, because I did not charge my Cena. Set these away from each other just a little bit. And I don't need to do this here because the grass is pretty nice. But a nice thing to do is to throw as much of your or your lines up on your wing as possible. Is that still recording? Uh, it is. <laughs> Guess all my batteries are a little low this morning because I am actually going to pull start this thing. Maybe. They've switched to this weird new spring assisted start and I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that yet either. There's a little bit of an inversion layer this morning. You can see a little haze across here. It's cooler down on the ground. And as you get above that, it actually, the sun is hitting that inversion layer and the radiant heat's coming off the inversion layer and making it warmer above it, which is quite nice. It won't take long for that to burn off. Absolutely butter there. Wind is a little strong. Man, the glide ratio on this wing is just so nice. I am actually not running tricks out. I have nowhere I need to be. I believe I did load up my hydration system. A little water while you're flying is kind of nice. I know everybody likes to carry Red Bulls, but uh, I don't like taking up stuff like that and flying with it. I don't know. We've got a little bit of a haze down through the canyon. It's not too chilly, so I think I'm going to actually climb up another thousand feet. And we're going to set our cruise altitude here at 5,700 if it's, if it's not too cold. I am watching for air traffic because this is kind of an approach. I'm currently in the Class C transitional airspace, so I'm fine with this altitude, but it is a transitional airspace, so absolutely animals. I'm proud of you fellas. You all kept your head on a swivel, and that's what you got to do when you find yourself in a vicious cockfight. Cruising altitude now, 57.50. Yeah, and now I'm kind of, should be bordering the transitional airspace. So what I use to check airspace is Ab Air for the Android. Yeah, I'm actually right in the middle of the transitional airspace. So we have burned about three quarters of a gallon now. So the noise cancellation on these Sonys really makes this a lot more comfortable. I have just not been comfortable with the Cena uh, Tough Talk. And I, I haven't found a set of uh, over the ears that have not made my ears rattle after an hour in the sky. So I think I'm gonna start wearing these noise cancellation headphones at the same time. And this, is, this has been the ticket. I've been extremely comfortable. It's a lot more peaceful. So I have climbed up to 6,300 feet, between 62 and 6,300. Just uh, getting a little bit of turbulence here off of the canyon and just getting up kind of out of its ground effect. Memory serves, the canyon is generally about 1,500 feet deep. At some point, there's a place back on the private side on the other side of the state park. My plan is, and I think the wind was a little bit too far, it's really got to be north and south uh, wind, and today's wind is more out of the east, southeast. Right here is the state park side, right down there. You've got the wonderful 
Texas play. If you're ever through the Amarillo Panhandle, stop and watch the Texas play. It's a nice little play and got a nice outdoor amphitheater and they have fireworks after it. And if you've got kids, they'll absolutely love it. Then right over here, we've got a zip line and some other goodies to do. But yeah, we are almost to the state park. This is an absolutely beautiful state park. This is probably the crown jewel of Texas state parks, in my opinion. If I were to have an engine out from here, I would head that direction, glide as far as I could, and land out in the cow pasture. Uh, landing next to the canyon is, you know, I don't know. I'd probably head that direction just so I'd be closer to the highway, but landing right next to the canyon, just no fun. It's almost landing lee side of a mountain. You've got a lot of turbulence. It's not bad this morning, though. Well, it looks like my wind may be shifting, at least at this altitude. I am almost at wing speed to the southwest. So here's the entrance right down here to the canyon. This was kind of a exploratory, I guess, flight. I didn't really intend on it, but once I got in the air, felt it out, thought, man, this would be fun. My plan is Silverton is over on that side. And it should be about that direction. It's to fly over to Silverton and refuel on a cross country and then eventually go over to Childress. So altitude. All right, so over State Park, 1,000 feet. These people aren't here to see a butt fan. <laughs> They're here to see beautiful, quiet scenery. And it's good morning for it, even though it's probably, usually it's about 10 degrees hotter in the bottom of the canyon at this day. start heading back to the casa. This should be a really nice thermal day, uh, at least early in the day. It's probably gonna rip and roar with some nasty possible tornadic activity. But right now it's nice. Nope, this is River Falls right over here, I believe. I think this uh, is the River Falls Airport, beautiful airport. There are lots available. My wife won't let me buy one. It's all right, my wife has to rein in my insanity. Someone's got to do it. It fell upon that poor lady. I think she knows if she lets me buy a lot on a on an airport community <laughs> that we're going to end up with a plane. And she doesn't want a plane. The unfortunate thing has happened to me. I need to go to the restroom. <laughs> That's okay, though. I can find a spot out here. There's plenty of areas I could put down. I don't think anybody will mind. But I think I'm going to put down over on this road. If there's no, if there's no power lines next to it, that'll make a nice little launch area. There are no cattle out here or anything like that. Yeah, it does have barbed wire. It's still cooler next to the ground. What I'm doing is I'm making a scan of the ground. Make sure there are no electric fences. <laughs> Those are really hard to see. The wind has really kicked up quite a bit. gonna give me a nice nice reverse launch it makes you wonder what's next I'd appreciate it do you have four quarters for a dollar anybody have two quarters for a dollar yes miss do you have two quarters for two dollars two quarters for five dollars please oh boy I'd appreciate it all right, now that business has been taken care of. That should uh, be a pretty easy launch, hopefully. Just bringing it right back up where it landed. Oh, 
little thermal there. 